What's up guys and girls? Raj here, back with a quick video. So I'm preparing for my CKA, a Certified Kubernetes Administrator examination. And I just found out that I can access Kubernetes documentation during the exam. I do not need to memorize all the commands. So I'm actually going through one of the popular uh, certification training course. And this was never mentioned. So I was, I was like really surprised. So let me show you guys and girls. Okay, so I'm on CNCF Certified Kubernetes Administrator page. And this is same for both CKA, CKAD, and also the new CKS. Uh, so if you scroll down, and here you have this candidate handbook. So if you open this link, uh, which opens up this page, and then you click exam rules and policies on the left menu, and it says, click on the exam title to see specific resources allowed during your exam. Uh, so here you have to select again. Uh, and then if I select the CKA again, see, use your Chrome or Chromium browser to open one additional tab in order to access assets at kubernetes.io slash docs. So that is the gold mine. So if I open kubernetes.io slash docs, so this has everything. So, you know, I was stressing about, um, I always use a deployment file uh, and deploy uh, my containers using the declarative way. I was worried that I have to remember all the imperative commands. Uh, I have to do some funky things. Um, but instead, you can just search deployment and then click this and all the search result that comes are from kubernetes.io only. So it's not like it's gonna take you to a different website. Uh, so if you click that deployment link and then you scroll down, there you go. You have an example. So you can simply copy this. You can even use this uh, copy and then you just do a vi name of a file, paste it, and then you apply it. So similarly, so I was going through a practice test where they said um, you have to uh, get the log of a specific container. So I was like, what is the command for that, right? So I'm like, okay, kubectl logs, then what? But you can search it here. So you can say kubectl, and then you have this kubectl cheat sheet. Again, if you see all these results, everything is from Kubernetes doc. So it's not gonna give you a page which takes you to some other website and you will get in trouble. It's not gonna happen. So I go to kubectl cheat sheet and then I do control F and I search log. There you go. That's the command, right? kubectl logs and the name of the pod dash C as in dash container and the name of the container. So this is a really relieving thing for me because I was really stressing about remembering all these commands and stuff. Uh, but, and it's not really mentioned uh, in those courses, so I don't know. Uh, so anyway, so I thought this would be helpful for you guys and girls who are taking uh, Kubernetes certification exams. So let me know if you already knew this, maybe I am the stupid one here, uh, or, or you didn't know this. So let me know in the comment section. All right, that's it for this one. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.